One of the first points is determine what you want to change. We're talking here about change. What do you want to change? I spoke about change in spirituality, but the truth is, we need to change many other things. Sometimes, and here we are in universities, and we're speaking to an audience of forces here, I think it's relevant for me to say, even in your studies, what do you want to do? Why are you here? What do you want to achieve? Remain focused and work hard to achieve it. Your parents or someone somewhere down the line is paying, in our slang, they say big bucks, for you to be here. Well, why? It's a fact. Some people work day and night to have their sons and daughters in far off prestigious universities and they're having fun there. Is it, is it fair? So we need to know what needs to be changed. Admit it. Write it down. Ponder. And this is why we have something known as meditation. In the Sharia, some people take it very far and some people ignore it totally. I have a balanced approach and what we say is every day Consider your deeds. This is based on what Umar ibn Khattab used to say, حَاسِبُوا أَنفُسَكُمْ قَبْلَ أَنْ تُحَاسَبُوا وَزِنُوهَا قَبْلَ أَنْ تُزَنُوا Take account of your deeds before they will be taken account of for you. Allah is going to take account of your deeds and naturally, when you are at university, if you do not take account of how you are spending your time in the university, come the day of exams and what happens? We start sweating. You know, we're all nighters. You know what an all nighter is? <laughs> you don't study to enjoy your life, and suddenly when exams come, we're popping in the boots and we're having the Red Bull. <laughs> now, the Red Bull doesn't do anything, believe me. The taurine in there is synthetic. That's what makes it halal, to be honest. If it was not synthetic, we would be saying something else. But even with that synthetic taurine, the problem we have is it no longer has an effect. I know young boys here, I can see their faces, they probably have 12 and they're still asleep. Mashallah. Mashallah. Sorry, no offense, I'm also bad at that. So the reality is, we need to know that that is not good enough. We need to take account of our deeds and we need to also weigh our deeds before they will be weighed for us and then we're embarrassed. Why is this the case? If you take account of your own deeds, there is always room for improvement and you will be able to, to keep away or keep at bay regret. But when, when something is taken account of for you, sometimes it might be too late. It might be too late.